Hey guys, Jim here coming back today with my 2023 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame nominations. And so before I get started, I just wanted to thank our esteemed commissioner, Jake. Legends never die here on YouTube. I know his job is not easy. He um, has to watch all these videos, tally all the votes. And he has made some tough decisions that I'm sure were not easy. So I know I personally appreciate what he does. And I know everyone else does too. So thank you, Jake, for all you do. Also, before I get started, I want to say, if you are not mentioned here, please do not be offended. As anybody who has done these will tell you, it is very, very, very difficult narrowing down all these great channels on YouTube to just select 10. So um, just because you're not mentioned here does not mean that I like you any less or anything like that. As far as I'm concerned, you're all Hall of Famers. So with that being said, let me get started with my 10 selections. First off the bat, I am going to go with Scott over at Reindeer Studios. Um, just a superstar here in the YouTube community. Um, really great guy, funny guy, incredibly talented. Um, just really like Scott. He's just, um, just does some awesome stuff. And if, if there is anybody who would be a Hall of Famer, Scott is the guy. So my first selection goes to him. Next up, James, Elite Hunters, somebody who I consider obviously a friend in the hobby, but also a friend in life. Just a great guy, um, very talented guy. His videos are very well done, well thought out, very well edited, um, extremely knowledgeable in the hobby. And um, I could go on and on about James. Um, like I said, he's a good friend and he gets my second choice here for the selections. Up third, Lou Rock TV. Lou's a great guy, a pillar of the community. He's the kind of guy, you know, he doesn't care who you are, where you're from, what you, what you do. If you want to sit down and have a conversation about sports, the hobby, you, whatever, he's, he'll sit there, he'll talk to you and before you know it, you're there for two hours having a great conversation. Just a really, really great guy. And of course, Bob is the star of the star of the show there. Um, and it's really great to see the two of them together. Um, love the fact that Bob has an interest in the the hobby and an interest in being with her dad and enjoying cards with him. And um, just really great to see. And that's my third vote, Lou Rock TV. Coming in fourth, Jay Stottlemyre won, Josh, and of course Josh is a Babe Ruth collector. And so anytime you see a video come out from Josh, you know that you're gonna be seeing something amazing. Um, and not only will you be seeing something amazing, but more than likely you're gonna be learning something about what he's showing. And um, another great guy, very down to earth, just goes about his business and you know loves to share what he's what he's doing and um i just think it's great so there's josh j stottlemyre one next up another guy who has an amazing collection and that's chuck north side guy chuck um is a big t206 collector but um not just t206 he collects all kinds of stuff and um Again, someone that um, you know that when you watch a video, most likely you, you might learn something. And, um, you know, I really like channels where I know that I'm, I'm learning f from other collectors. And um, I think it's great. And, you know, Chuck's just a really down to earth guy as well. And um, just really appreciate the way he goes about the hobby. And um, Chuck, not a side guy. Next up, I have a fellow Red Sox fan. And... This would be Eric at the Card Closet. 
Eric's um, just an awesome guy, uh, very friendly, has a great collection. He's a set builder, um, been putting together Red Sox team sets since I think day one all the way up to present. And um, his collection spans that, that amount of time. He goes pre-war all the way up to ultra modern. Um, he is a fan of LeBron James, so um, I knocked a few points off for that, but um, looking past that, Eric's a great guy and, um, in my opinion, very, very deserving of a selection. So coming up next, I've got um, Brent near Mint Musings. Brent's another guy. You know, you, he, he puts out a video and... Um, his videos are very well thought out as well, and he's a he's a very informative guy. Uh, I just love the way he approaches the hobby. Um, always, um, you know, trying to trying to teach people what he's about, what he's collecting, and um, I, I just think it's great. And he is uh, very very worthy of a selection as well. So Brent Near Mint Musings. Next, I'm going to go with um, Tony J P Wisco. Uh, Tony's a great guy, very funny, um, has an awesome collection. He's really into Japanese um, baseball cards, which I've learned a ton from him about um, some of the different Japanese players and the different sets that are available. And, um, you know, like I said, there's a theme here where, you know, not just great collections, but, but great guys and, um, you know, guys you can learn something from. So there's Tony, JP Wisco. Now I'm gonna go with another set, another set builder, and that is going to be um, Dean Gerhardt. Yeah, I collect it all. Uh, Dean's a great guy. He's got an amazing collection. I feel like he's probably got um, some crazy awesome cards in his collection that he's never even shown on his channel. I had a chance to hang out with Dean for a, a good part of the day um, last year on the last day of the national. Uh, it was really um, nice to hang out with him. We had some great conversation, got, got to um, know Dean a little bit more from hanging out with him. And um, he's just a great guy, a uh, really good guy to talk to and uh, just a great collector, very passionate. And that's Dean. Gerhardt, yeah, I collect it all. And last but not least, I'm going to go with Saul BDK721 here on YouTube. Saul, um, he is a San Diego Padres fan. He's a collected Manny Machado, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., and um, he also loves Topps Chrome. He puts together the different subsets. And um, another guy, you know, he just wants to share what he's what he's collecting and um he's passionate about passionate about what he does he's been around for a long time on youtube making videos for i think over well over eight years and um just a really nice guy and um he's got my 10th and final vote Saul bd kane 721 so that's all i've got guys